I, I think there's an opportunity to change the sport, but you know, the bottom line is we have to be willing to invest in marketing. You know, we have to be willing to do the little things that other sports aren't willing to do on a regular basis. You know, the great thing, the one thing that I know about college wrestling and I know about coaches and athletes is they're some of the most competitive individuals around. You know, what, what this marketing manual is, is it's, a, it's been a collaborative project. I can remember back a year and a half sitting down with Mike Moyer and saying, you know, from a marketing standpoint, what is it that we can do for the sport of wrestling to really grow it and to grow it the right way? And the thing that we kept coming back to um, was developing a marketing manual, developing a resource that would help coaches to understand the things that they need to be doing on a regular basis to be successful, you know, with positioning their programs the right way. And, you know, when we decided on this, we, we had some conversations with the NCAA to see what their interest would be in, in, in being involved in the process, and they were very supportive up front. So it's been a collaborative partnership uh, with the NWCA, with the NCAA, with myself to create this marketing kit. And what it is, is, is it's a step-by-step -step manual. You know, there's seven different steps where if you want to start with marketing, you know, these are some of the things that you should be thinking about. starts with section number one, developing a marketing mindset. You know, simply put, you cannot be successful with marketing if you don't value it, if you don't think it's important. And when you take it a step further and you value people the way that you should, uh, then you give yourself a chance to be successful in marketing. The second section is developing a prom promotable program vision. And this, you know, really um, has to do with the concept of branding your program. You know, really sitting down and saying what is your program about, what do you want it to be about, and then going through those steps to where you can really promote that the right way. Uh, section number three, uh, connecting for the cause. You know, coaches are extremely busy. You know, they have to feel the competitive team. You know, there's so many different aspects that they have to deal with now. And what this is saying is that if you're the CEO of your program, you know, what are the ways that you can reach out to be more efficient? And so connecting for the cause deals with how do you reach out on campus to find individuals who would help you with marketing. Uh, you know, moving into the second half of the manual uh, really emphasizes the importance of developing an exciting product. And so number one, at your dual meets, you know, how do you position them in a way to where more consumers are going to want to come and support support you, and it and it really emphasizes the importance of creating an aura surrounding your import, your program, and that starts with making sure that you have an exciting product, and it also deals with social media. You know, how are you going to use social media to make sure that you're sending your messages to key segments like college students, and so really some innovative ways to do that, and then you know using the, all those things together. So if you want an exciting uh, dual meet atmosphere where you're drawing people. You know, how do you come up with promotions? How do you make sure that you're promoting those promotions with social media and really tying them all together to where you have the right type of brand and you're really marketing your program effectively? And you know, the best way to really take full advantage of this marketing manual, number one, make sure that you get your hands on it and you sit down as an entire staff and you spend a little bit of time to read it together. And as you read it together, you, you, can, you can do so much more if you start to brainstorm and find out um, and identify the things that you need to be doing. And if you have an intern, make sure that you involve them in that process as well. You know, the second thing which I think would be highly useful is to get down to the convention. You know, we're going to have some outstanding presentations um, that are going to be tailored to really surround this marketing manual. And it will help you because we're going to talk about how you really activate each of these different sections. And again, if you have a marketing intern, if you have coaches who are going to be handling marketing, I know that it's a lot to ask you to bring people down and it's a big investment. But I think that it will really help you in the future and you'll get your return on investment if you bring them down. You know, and then finally, I emphasize this in the manual, this is a starting point. You know, read through it, really start to put a structure in place for marketing, but then don't be afraid to take the next step because that's really what college wrestling needs. It needs people that are willing to be proactive and willing to take risks. A year from now, with this marketing manual and other surrounding materials, I see college wrestling being the trendsetters uh, in college athletic for as far as innovative marketing. And it's important that we set the bar high and we really get after it in the future.